eat simple math. Slap that like button. Simple math. Me. Crap gaming. Back with another video. Yes, I, I feel like I got to talk to you people because you just don't get it. You don't get it. Er, it annoys me because you don't get it. It's simple math that we got to do when we slap the like button. Why can't Forza Horizon 5 run at 60 frames? Simple math. Deltas. All of this stuff. Words. I'm smart. I'm intelligent. Yes, simple math. Understand what I'm saying. It's Forza Horizon 5. 30 frames per second. Flight Simulator, folks. Slap that like button. 30 frames per second. Beardy deer 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 deer. Hey, it's me. Back with another damage control video. I have to do this video because y'all fuckfaces don't understand what's going on. But I'm going to explain it to you. You're going to pay me money for explaining it to you. And I'm going to make you feel better about yourself and your $500 console. Let's go. Rack it up. Anyway, uh, now, that, now that the jokes are out of the way, simple jokes, simple jokes, folks. Um, I, I kind of wanted to talk about this because, you know, again... Uh, why is it me that has to point out how wrong some of these people are with this stuff, right? Like, and why is so many other people afraid to point out who's wrong about so much of this other stuff that it, it's kind of ridiculous? It's gotten to this like ridiculous point where you know everybody's afraid of the dealer gamings, the Cold East Woods, you know, the RDX podcast, the um, Xbox On podcast, all these people that say all this ridiculous stuff that turns out not to be true. Um, and, you know, I find it to be a little bit ironic that, of all people, me, who, like, I've never claimed to be a tech guy. I've, You know, people, developers have given me bits and pieces of information and papers and stuff like that, and I've passed those on to various outlets like um, Jez Gordon at Windows Central and stuff like that. So um, I've never claimed to be an insider or anything like that. Once in a while, I'll get a piece of information or whatever. But if I'm wrong on something, I'm wrong. And, you know, that can happen to anybody, uh, and it does. You know, anybody can be wrong, and I fully admit when I'm wrong about stuff, which is not really a problem. Um, you know, the, the interesting thing is how people kind of go with, whatever some of these other people say as being like uh the gospel you know like i want xbox to succeed I, like i said i gave xbox a pretty good review and and some people don't really uh understand that i am very honest with that review you know what i mean like i 100 percent gave a very positive review i i feel like xbox had a very good uh you know a very good e3 i thought that the fact that their other e3s have been such utter crap that you know it, it really made this one look that much better um but i also thought that it was much better paced and the fact that they didn't have a bunch of smarmy talking and you know it was just like it seemed like they they got down to businesses which is something that i liked and just showcased the games um they didn't do a bunch you know there was no you know we bought uh, you know studios and you know this and that you know I, I thought they did a good job with um with how they handled things you know i would have liked to have seen some of the games they previously announced actually have some gameplay or some updates but it is kind of um you know uh, it is kind of weird you know to to see that that's uh actually happening uh with that being said you know i've got to say a lot of these people uh, are completely wrong all the time, quite a bit of the time anyway. Um, you know, for, for instance, we have this situation with Forza Horizon 5. That game is going to run 4K 30 frames per second on the Xbox Series X. Just for clarification, Forza Horizon 4 ran 4K 30 on Xbox One X but had a 1080p 60 frames mode. Now, you might go, well, that's understandable. Only running 30 frames per second. I get it. I, uh, I get it. I understand why. You know, probably because it's running ray tracing during the game. And, you know, they're trying to do this or trying to do that. Well, I hate to be the guy to kind of, you know, break it to you. But, unfortunately, the ray tracing is limited to the Vista mode. And if you're wondering what the Vista mode is, uh, Vista mode is actually... Uh, the mode 
that uh, that that's for pictures, like taking pictures and stuff like that. So it absolutely has nothing to do with in-game whatsoever. It's basically just like, hey, okay, well, here's some pictures. Take your pictures and make them look very good. Um, you know, and and again, that's something that you know some people are going to have to come to terms with. So here's the interesting part: Forza Horizon 5 was undoubtedly one of the highlights of Microsoft's Xbox and Bethesda E3 2021 showcase. The new installment of the open-world racing game franchise by Playground Games, set in Mexico, will indeed launch on November 9th, 2021. Following the unveiling, the developers shared some of the new information about the game on the official Forza website. It seems like Forza Horizon 5 is quite demanding, as the resolution and frame rate targets are 4K at 30 frames per second on Xbox Series X and 1080p 30 frames per second on Xbox Series S. Additionally, while ray tracing was name dropped during the E3 2021 showcase, it'll actually only be available by browsing cars in Forza Vista. This is what they had to say officially. You can also expect powerful, all-new graphical features like HDR captures of the vibrant Mexican sky, sweeping vistas, and an unparalleled attention to detail. Available in 4K 30 frames per second on the Xbox Series X, 1080p 30 frames per second on Xbox Series S, with an optional 60 frames per second performance mode and ray tracing added to cars in Forza Vista, you will be immersed in the world of Horizon like never before. Of course, Forza Horizon 5 looked great even without ray tracing effects. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that will damage control that, you know, say that. And I think it looked good myself, but it is a little bit disappointing that we won't be seeing ray tracing in game. As exemplified by the direct feed screenshots, I'm going to link these below. Um, you know, it is odd that the maker of DirectX ray tracing API isn't really pushing that much to incorporate ray tracing in its first party games. So. Uh, Forza Horizon 5 was probably a huge highlight to what we saw yesterday. And, you know, to be quite honest with you, uh, you know, it, it, it's so odd to me that obviously, you know, we see a situation where games are running at 30 frames per second only on Xbox Series X current gen games. Now, where does that come from? Like, that's the question that I kind of want to ask. So whose fault is that? Like, if, if you look at this, okay, the medium, 30 frames per second, that's only on Xbox Series X. It's only a current-gen game. Flight Simulator, 30 frames per second on Xbox Series X. That's right. That game is only 30 frames per second. It's a current-gen only game, 30 frames per second. Forza Horizon 4, 30 frames per second. Um, Cyberpunk 2077, 30 frames per second. There's zero... 30 frames per second games on the PlayStation 5 for current gen games. Uh, keep in mind that Cyberpunk was pulled off the store, so that's no longer available on PlayStation. So there are zero current gen games. Um, so yeah, very interesting that this is indeed what's going on with this. And to say that it's a shock would be a little bit of an understatement. So the only next gen console that's running 30 frames per second as an only option is the uh, Xbox Series X. Now, I do say that the Forza Horizon 4 will have a 60 frame option, but that's probably going to be a 1080p game at that point. So you have to kind of wonder um, what's going on with that. You know what I'm saying? Just at the end of the day, uh, you know, you're going to see just how these things kind of go. But again, I do find it to be very interesting uh, the way that this has kind of come about and how wrong some of these people have been in general uh about this kind of stuff so yeah uh for me personally i find it to be very very curious a lot of people asking questions about it a lot of people kind of um saying hey you know what's the deal with this i would love to know because i was told that you know 12 t flops were going to be uh very much more than powerful enough to handle all this stuff so it's super curious to me to say the least and i'm sure that you guys have a ton of questions for microsoft yourself especially given the way that everybody made fun of Play playstation 5 one for having a performance mode right so playstation offers various performance mode even on something like ratchet and clank there's three different modes i love that option um and then you got something like forza horizon 5 which offers no ray tracing i mean how is it a next-gen game? I mean, I get that it's cross-gen, but how are you not going to have any ray tracing on the actual game itself? 
you know so it basically means they're going to be using a lot of baked on lighting and reflections and stuff like that so yeah uh very interesting to see how that kind of works out and i'm interested to see what everybody thinks in terms of being able to go out there and um you know kind of talk about this so yeah i i can't believe it you know it's strange but yeah i'm gonna link all this stuff let me know what you think rack them up crap gamer out